But if you have chronic pain, then your pain processing, the neurology of how your brain and nervous system process pain, is not normal, which means that when you have pain, it is not an indication of damage, meaning hurt does not equal harm. Now, most people think that pain happens like this. You damage a tissue, like you tear a muscle, for example, and therefore you have pain. But this is how pain is actually processed, and I have left a lot of information off of this illustration. You will understand this by the end of this series, but the short version is, yes, fine, we tear a muscle, we herniate a disc, something like that, but we have volume knobs in the spinal cord, in the periphery, in the brain, we can turn the volume up or down on the signal, our immune system, our circulation, our digestive system, our sensory organs, our brain, our thoughts, our beliefs, all of these things are interacting. It's not even just uh, one causes the other causes the other, it's their back and forth. And ultimately, we have to determine if there is a threat, and if there is, we're going to have pain, and if there's not, we're not having pain.